Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is an interesting set. It says that uh, there is a calculator that does all operations correctly, but it does not necessarily take the same digits as entered. Okay, so for example, if you enter one plus one, uh, you might not give you the answer two, as the calculator might be inputting a different value when the key for one is pressed. So what has happened is the keys are not correct. Okay, uh, and but if it is also given that it is certain that it will keep inputting the same digit for the same keystroke. For example, if on pressing one it enters six, then if you end press one again, it will again enter six only. Okay, so if you are doing, let us say, uh, for one it is entering three. So if you do one plus one, it will get it will do three plus three that is six. Suppose for uh, for another case, let us say for one it is entering three, uh, for two it is entering five. So if you do one plus two every time you do one plus two, it will give you the answer eight only. If you do two plus one, it will calculate and tell you the answer eight only. So it has faulty keys, but it accepts the same digit as uh, every time. Okay. Now it. It is given that all keystrokes enter a different digit from zero to nine. So these are the uh, keys given, and they enter different digit. And it is giving you the sum of a uh, of two six-digit numbers, and we have to find that what is the correct digit in this. Okay. Now, uh, see if you compare number with numbers, uh, uh, like it would be slightly difficult. So let us do one thing. Let us convert these to alphabets, okay? And then we will convert those alphabets to and find the corresponding numbers, okay? Suppose let us say this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can write as B, F, G, F, D, A. So I'm writing A, B, C, D, E, F, okay? For these digits. Okay, so this is the sum that is given to us. Okay, now we will find that which digit is represented by which letter. Okay, so uh, now first thing that we must see is A plus B should give us the same result. Isn't it? So what is given that it will enter whenever you press the same key, it will take the same input. It it does not change the input. So if it is taking something for A and it is taking something for B, A plus B should remain same. But what we see here is A and A plus B is D here and A plus B is C here. So from the rule of crypt arithmetic, okay, it means that. There must be some C. If A plus B is giving D, it should give A plus B D only. But why is it giving C? Because there must be one carry from here. Okay. So that means it gives that C is equal to D plus one. One thing that we have to remember that C will be equal to D plus one. Okay. Some more things. A, B, and C cannot be zero. Why they can't be zero? Because the leftmost digit is not taken as zero. Whenever some rules of crypt arithmetic, leftmost digit is never zero. Okay, so these are not zero. One condition is C should be D plus one because of the carry reason. Another thing that D should be C is D plus one and C is a single digit number. Okay, so D plus one should be a single digit number. So D should be less than nine. Why less than nine? Because if it is nine, let us say D is equal to nine. So B plus A is nine. Nine and one carry that will make it ten. Not possible. So D is less than nine. Okay. All right. Now we know that D is less than nine. Okay. C is equal to D plus one. Now this is not giving a carry. There is zero carry is here. Right. Now D plus E is C. And we know that C is equal to D plus one, so that means E is one. So one is definitely E. Correct. Now let us move forward. 
we see that f plus f gives b as the last digit okay so whenever you add any two digits let us say you add 1 plus 1 you will get 2 when you add 2 plus 2 it will give you 4 3 plus 3 is 6 and so on you always get an even digit okay so that means that b is even okay so now let us try by taking cases right let us take uh, uh we'll let's make four cases in one case we'll take two four six and eight and try to eliminate the cases okay so in first case let us say that b is equal to two in second case let's take b is equal to four then we will take b is equal to six and b is equal to eight okay now we know that a and b cannot be zero right if you take b is equal to eight if you take minimum a is equal to one d will be nine but d is less than nine so you can straight away eliminate this case straight elimination okay next case if we take b is equal to 6 okay b equal to 6 then uh, a can be if a is equal to 2 b will be 9 okay so if i take b is equal to 6 and a is equal to see a cannot be uh, a cannot be 1 okay a cannot be 0 a cannot be 1 if i put a is equal to 2 Right. If I put a is equal to 2 and b equal to 6, d will be 8. Okay. That gives us 8. Okay. Then f plus f is equal to b. Okay. b is 6. Okay. So f plus f is equal to b. So f should be 3. Okay. 3 plus 3 is 6. Fine. Now f plus d is equal to h. f is 3. d is 8. That means h will be 1, isn't it? 3 plus 8 is equal to 11. Okay, so that is not possible. And even if you consider a carry, if you say that, okay, some carry might come from here, then also it will be 2. Now that is not possible because all digits are unique. So that is also neglected. Now if I take b is equal to 4, a uh, minimum a uh, so let us start with f okay because if uh, for a it might be difficult to find out let's start with f now b is equal to we know that there is no carry from here because d plus e is c and c is less than c is a single digit number so no carries so f plus f is b which is 4 okay so uh, that means that f is equal to 2 or f will be equal to 7 we will consider both the cases let us try with f is equal to 2 okay 2 plus 2 is 4 or 7 plus 7 is 4 with a carry to the next number okay so we will take both the cases let us start with f is equal to 2 so f plus f is equal to b fine now let us try to put values of a and others okay so if I put a is equal to a cannot be 1, a cannot be 2. If I put a equal to 3, then d will be 7. Okay, d is 7, c will be 8. And if d is 7, so f is 2, 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. Okay, 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. Uh, that means like 2 plus 7 is 9 and if I put 9 here it is not generating a carry it should generate a carry if I take 2 plus 7 consider this thing like this d is 7 okay if I put 2 plus 7 9 I am not getting carry if I put if I take one carry from here so that gives me h is equal to 0 if if I have to generate carry I will consider one carry from here but if h is equal to 0, you cannot have carry from here. Are you getting this? If we put h is equal to 0, you will get a single digit number here. 
you are not getting a carry so that means this case is not possible okay a is equal to 3 is not possible i cannot put a equal to 4 because b is already 4 if i put a is equal to 5 d will be 9 okay so f is equal to 2 is not possible so it requires a lot of cases f is equal to 2 is not possible now let us consider f is equal to 7 if i put f is equal to 7 it means that b will give you 14 and there will be one carry to this digit okay now a plus b is d let us take cases if i put b is already 4 if i put a is equal to 2 okay if i put a is equal to 2 i will get d6 and c7 not possible if i put a is equal to 3 i will get d is equal to 7 but not possible because f is already 7 I cannot put a is equal to 4, I cannot put a5. If I put a5, d will be 9. So this means that this case is also not possible. It required a lot of elimination, but we have eliminated all the possibilities of the value of b. Okay, so first we eliminated 8, that was the easiest to eliminate it. Then 6 also, uh, like taking a few cases, we were able to eliminate. It required a lot of cases or f is equal to 2, f is equal to 7, but applying all the cases, we have eliminated this. Now, the only thing remains is b is 2, okay? Now, if b is 2, what will be f? We know that b is equal to 2. So, this means that f has to be 6 because 1 plus 1 is not possible. 1 is already e. So, f is 6, okay? This is 6. Now, it means that there is one carry here. Okay. So, since now we know the value of B, let us let us put the digits itself to get the answer. So, this is 6 plus 6 giving us 12 and one carry is here. This is 2 here. This is 2 here. Okay. Let us put some uh, hit and trial to get the values of A, uh, D, E, etc a d c and uh, all these values if we put a is equal to 3 what will happen if i put a is equal to 3 we will get d is equal to 5 and c is equal to 6 so not possible i cannot have a is equal to 4 if i put a is equal to 4 then you will get d is equal to 6 not possible if i put a is equal to 5 Let's put all these things and see. If I put a is equal to 5, then b plus a is d that is 7 and 8 will be c. Okay. So, let us try putting this 5 to 7 and this is 7 plus 1, 8. Okay, this we have put. Now f is 6. Now 6 plus 7, d is 7. So 6 plus 7 is either 13 or 14. Okay, it will depend from this digit that if you get a carry, it will be 13 or else it will be 14. Anyway, c is 8. Okay, C is 8. Now, this could be 13 or 14. Okay. Now, if I take, uh, if I take this as, let us say I take H is equal to 4. Right. If I take H is equal to 4, that means, now this is, this is not possible as 18. In order to generate a carry, I should have 18 here, right? That means, like if I if I am getting a carry, that means it should be 18. So h is equal to 4 is not possible. H will be 3. There will not be any carry from this digit. If we take a carry from this digit, that means the sum should be 18. 18 is not possible as a sum. So h will be 3. 
if h is 3 okay this means that g will be 4 because 4 plus 3 is 7 and 1 carry from here is 8 okay so this is g so we've got all distinct digits now let us just write the number and check it like if everything every total is working fine Just check this total 5 plus 2 7 7 plus 1 8 8 6 plus 6 2 1 carries 8 3 1 carries that is 8 okay so everything looks perfect in this right so this is the actual sum this is what is given in the calculator and this is the actual sum okay the actual sum that uh, a person entered and this is what got displayed in the calculator so now let us answer the questions what digit should be pressed when 2 is needed okay so for actual you need 2 so you need to press 2 only to get 2 right so the button 2 is correct it is saying that it is not necessarily taking the same like not necessarily that all digits are faulty some digits might be correct so that means you need to press 2 only what is the digit entered when 5 is pressed so this is the pressed button 5 so when you press 5 right the number entered is 1 what is the digit entered when 8 is pressed 8 is pressed here or here like when you press 8 you get the digit 3 what is the digit entered when 7 is pressed 7 is here pressed here okay 7 pressed gives you 4 okay 7 pressed when 7 is pressed gives you the digit 4 okay so this was uh, the solution to the set and the answers to the question so i hope you've liked this set like really great set requires a lot of thinking to it and uh, uh, this is how you should have tackled this